how to create anchor links to another page in Elementor. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll break it down step by step how you can build anchor links to another page in WordPress. So I am using Elementor and you can use this in a lot of different web page builders. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on edit with Elementor. Now, the kind of anchor link that I want to build is that this is my home page and I want people to be able to go from here directly into the workshop section. And if they click on master the basics, they should be led to this section. And then if they click on the second item, which is all hand ceramic, I want them to be led to this section. Now, this is where I am linking both of my anchor links to the same page, but it's in different sections of the page. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing we're going to do is open our Elementor editor. And once you've opened up your page in Elementor, I'm going to add some text, which is going to serve as our anchor link. Now for this, you can add any type of text. I'm just adding some text over here. You can choose a title type text. You can choose a basic text. It really just depends on how you want your learn more to be. Even if you just want to build it directly off of the headings, you can do that as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my text and then I'm going to link it to my other page. So I'm just going to copy the link and then we're going to paste it. And you're going to do that for both of these. So just click on this and then paste the hyperlink. Now, if you are doing this on a text section individually, you can also just hyperlink that particular section. So for now, you're just going to do that and click on update on the bottom left. Now, this will only lead people to the page. How can you actually make sure that those people are led to that particular section. Well, for this, you're going to use a little bit of a code technique. It's very simple. So once you have built your basic link, so this will just link people directly to that particular page, you're going to do a hashtag. So after you do that, you're just going to type in hashtag master dash the dash basics. Now, this should not have any special characters. This should not have, you know, any fancy anchors. You just want to add your particular name. You just redo the name with dashes and you want to click on update. Now, I'm going to do the same thing for all hand ceramics where I'm going to go into the link and then we're going to go into the corner of the link and then you're going to go hashtag all hands ceramics like this and then i'm just going to click on update now once these changes have been made i'll show you guys what the website is currently looking like so this is our current site if i click on master the basics it's going to lead me just to the page currently our anchor has not been built but keep in mind we have added that hashtag and if you hover your mouse over the particular anchor text that you just added you will see on the bottom left, you guys should be able to see right here on the bottom left, you have a master the basics appearing in the URL. So that is all you need. That is all you need for now. Now we're going to build our anchor. So to build our anchor, go back into WordPress. Now from here, we're going to open up our other page. So this is just one page. And what we're going to do is we are going to head on over to the secondary page. So, so I am just opening up our other page with Elementor. So now we have opened this up with Elementor. Now, what you're going to do is that we have two sections. We master the basics. So I'm going to go into this. Now, I want whenever someone clicks on master the basics, they are led directly to this section. So now all you have to do is hover your mouse over the container that you want to anchor your link to. Once you do that, on the top, you have these purple six dots. So you're going to click on these six dots over here. And once you've completed that, you're going to click on advanced. Now, once you click on advanced, you will see a CSS ID. So what you're going to do is add your CSS ID, which is master the basics like this. Now click on update. 
And once you have clicked on update, let's do a check of whether or not this is currently working. It might take a couple of seconds for this to be completely updated. And just like that, if all goes well, it took me directly to the workshops page, but it led me directly to the master the basic section. Now to repeat this process on the second section, which is all hand ceramics, to build the anchor link to that, now I'm going to scroll down to all hand ceramics and I'm going to click on these six dots on the top of my container. Once you do that, click on advanced on the right and then scroll down and in the CSS ID, type in the exact same CSS ID that you use in the hashtags. Nothing different, spell it just like you did. And then once you do that, now once we have completed this, let's open up our WordPress website. So now I'll just open it up once. And now that I open up my website, okay, I will click on Master the Basics. And now this is opening up our workshops and it's leading me directly to Master the Basics. And if I scroll back up, go to the home page and click on All Hand Ceramics, it's taken me to the workshops page and it's directly led me to the All Hand Ceramics page. So in this way, you can build amazing anchor links from one page to another. Now, these are especially helpful when you are looking to provide your audience with the content or information that they need, such as privacy policies, shipping policies, uh, if you have a really large directory of blogs, all of that can be a lot for a customer or a person to read through. They want their answers to be there and present. So building these kinds of anchor links can be a simple and easy and quick solution to make sure that people are able to access the relevant information that they want. You can do this with any kind of editor of any website. It is not necessary because you are using a very simple CSS ID. You can just input that into any website builder and it will most likely work for you. Elementor is just the easiest way to build a website on WordPress. And if you're looking for some other helpful tips and tricks on building upon WordPress sites, make sure to check out our other videos. We will show you guys how you can build pop-ups and so much more on WordPress. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.